it is time to create custom formulas, but why would you want it? Because Google Analytics or Facebook ads already offer you need, or they don't. They don't. I will show you an example, and I want to ask you, how do you measure your conversion rate? It turns out that Google Analytics offers a conversion rate metric, and I want to ask you this, how do you measure conversion rate? Because Google Analytics offers a metric that is conversion rate, but it is correctly calculated. Let's think of this. If you're an e-commerce, chances are that someone can buy on your e-commerce in a session. And the next session is also potential that this person wants to buy again, like a week later or a month later. With B2B and with the startups, it is kind of different because chances are that people will only convert once. Even if you have a subscription model in B2B, chances are that businesses will only convert once from trials, from leads to customers. Google Analytics by default measures conversion rate by conversions versus sessions. What about if we do it for B2B with conversions versus users? Let's create that formula. Once on our data studio report, I will see that it is crowded. So I will create a new page. I will click on add a page and we will start from blank. And for this new report, I want to go to insert and I want to insert a scorecard. For this scorecard, I want to measure users. Now I want to visualize conversion, so I will control C and control V and I will look for on the Google Analytics connector a metric that is called goal completions. So I will go to metric and we'll type goal completions. Our new conversion rate will divide this by this. So let's do it. I will control C and control V and create a custom formula. To create a custom formula, you will click on metric and instead of choosing a metric, you will create a new field. This new field, I will call it new conversion rate. And the formula, like just using Google Sheets, will be goal completions divided by users and apply. And great, this calculates the conversion rate, but I want to express it as a percentage. So I will go to type and instead of number, I want to go with percent and apply. And here we have, we have a new conversion rate that we are calculating. If I go to Ctrl C and Ctrl V, I can turn this scorecard into a time series. So I will make it bigger. Custom formulas in Google Data Studio are as powerful as using Google Sheets. So you can leverage dozens, if not hundreds of functions to create your own metrics. Now let's create our dimensions with regular expressions and case statements.